Welcome to Disney's All-Star Movies Resort here at Walt Disney World. I'm Danny 702 and today let's explore what this Disney Value Resort has to offer. There is no shortage of places to stay, not only around the theme parks and in Orlando, but there is about 30 different on-property resorts here at Disney World. Ranging from value even to villas, there is probably something that fits your vacation needs. Now let's start here where you would check in for your Disney vacation, or in this case, walk the red carpet to your Disney adventure. Ooh, this is nice. It actually smells really good in here too. The main lobby or the central building here is known as Cinema Hall. Here you will find the front desk, which is open 24 hours, but there's also express checkout. Now Disney makes the check-in process super easy. We didn't stop at the front desk our whole trip when we stayed out here because you can check in on your phone ahead of time, then use your magic band or your phone as your room key. A line behind the front desk is this mural of the skyline of Hollywood. This looks so insanely familiar to me. I love seeing this. Oh my gosh, they have the pin board out and it looks like it's like an Oscar. It's like an award that you would win. There's a little seating area here and there is a movie playing. It kind of looks like you're at the Hollywood Bowl. Okay, so far I am absolutely loving this, especially because it's themed after Hollywood where I am originally from. I feel like I'm at home already. This is also where you will find the bus transportation that takes you to the parks and to Disney Springs, which is completely complimentary. There's a film-inspired food court, an arcade, and also a gift shop. Let's check out the gift shop. Donald's Double Feature is what this gift shop is called. Very basic gift shop, kind of like all the others that you'll find across all the properties. All kinds of Disney ears for every color outfit that you can imagine. We've got our lounge fly backpacks, 2021 merchandise. I love how the checkout desk is called the box office. And then over here is Will Call, where you would get your package pickup. That's so clever. And the Florida necessities, like these spray bottles and sunscreen. They also have bathing suits available in case you forgot one and want to utilize the hotel pool. I am looking for hotel specific merchandise. There's not as much here than I usually see at some of the other resorts, but they do have a few. Also have snacks available. There's a little snack bar here with some grab and go drinks. They got chips. Oh, and also a couple things for the adults. And a couple of other handy dandy items that you might need on your vacation. Oh, yeah, I mean, you might have forgotten some of that. Oh, okay, here we go. I found the all-star section. So still the same. It, this mug does say sports, music, movies, and repeat, which is all three of the all-star resorts. And also a t-shirt available. Let's pop into the real fun arcade. I always love looking at hotel arcades. This is one of the funnest spots. Ooh, it's, it's a decent size. The world's largest Pac-Man game. Holy cow, it is pretty big. Some really cool pinball machines. There's Tron, Avatar, Pirates, Star Wars, and Guardians there at the end. The world premiere is what their food court is called. Let's go take a look at their menu and just what this area looks like. So far, it looks very, very spacious, very bright, very colorful. Ooh, smells like a movie theater. Kind of looks like a movie theater. It, normally this would be run a little bit different than it is now. It looks like most of it's going to be mobile order. As of now, as of filming, things are changing very quickly. But I love all the different like marquees. I think they're all different venues like the Rialto. There's the Roxy. I'm very familiar with that venue. Over here is the Majestic. Now, normally you would walk up and there are different foods here. Like let's for say for instance, it looks like this area would be where there's pizza. Maybe over here is a salad and pastas, just for instance, you know, a basic food court. But as of right now, it's running slightly different where you're gonna mobile order, order ahead of time. It's gonna give you your number when you are ready to pick up. You walk up to the desk or to the tables where your order is ready and you head on out. So let's see, they have breakfast like eggs and cheese sandwiches. There are Mickey shaped waffles, so that's important to know. They also have lunch available, so a cheddar cheese bacon cheeseburger, mmm, a grilled chicken sandwich, chicken strips, a turkey dinner, turkey sandwich, oh, roasted salmon. Here is the Italian, like the pizzas and the pastas. Also kids meals available, and you can get a kids meal as an adult. I utilize that pretty often over here at Disney. Maybe we'll come back after we walk all around the resort and have a bite. 
exiting Simina Hall and it looks like you arrive at the Fantasia area. This is the main pool area as well. I think what we're gonna do though is we're gonna take a right and go to this area first and then we'll head back around and do the Fantasia area, Love Bug, cross Cinema Hall again and then head over to Toy Story. All-Star Movies opened in January of 1999 as the third of the All-Star Resorts. There's All-Star Sports, there's All-Star Music, and then here All-Star Movies. But as of filming of this June 2021, the sports and the music is temporarily closed. The theming here at the Disney's All-Star Movies is pretty, pretty obvious. It's all themed after specific Disney movies. The highlighted movies in each building are 101 Dalmatians, Toy Story, Fantasia, The Mighty Ducks, and Herbie the Love Bug. I'm seeing fire hydrants, which must mean that we have arrived at the 101 Dalmatians area. That the fire hydrants is actually where the stairwell is. That is so cool. Look, and all of the doggies along the railings. Oh, there's Corella. The buildings only go up to three stories high and there are elevators available. And don't forget to make your request. Disney does a really great job at accommodating your requests most of the time. So if you want the top floor or the bottom floor close to the stairs or by the pool, or in my case, when I stayed on property, I asked to be close to the gym. Definitely don't forget to ask. Pongo here is 40 feet tall. Now I know the boy dog, his name is Pongo, but I cannot remember what the girl dog's name is. I remember it starts with a P as well. But yeah, yep, I'm completely drawing a blank. Check out this super cute photo opportunity. It looks like one of the 101 Dalmatians is watching TV. You can get behind the TV screen and he'd be watching you. Keep walking past the Dalmatians and it looks like we have arrived in a hockey arena. Go Knights, go! Okay, wait, it's not VGK, but it is the Mighty Ducks. There are two pools at this resort and this one is the smaller of the two, but it's so freaking awesome. And it looks like we've got a surprise goalie inside the net. Not Goldberg today, but Goofy. So we've got the hockey pucks and the Mighty Ducks hockey sticks. On the very top, looks like we have some fans in the crowd. Oh, and the stairwell is just like a gigantic goalie net. This is cool. There's a gigantic scoreboard here. Uh, I believe that's the right time. Looks like we are in the third period. I can't really make out. Looks like somebody's in a penalty box. Player 44. Oh yeah, he's got two minutes on the clock. And when the wind blows hard and the sky is black, ducks fly together. I love that movie. That is such a good movie. Ooh, do you think Coach Bombay is somewhere around here? Oh, backside of Hockey Mask. <laughs> this is cool. I'm totally loving this hockey section because it is playoff season and my team is currently in. We just have to pass this round and then we're headed to the Stanley Cup. Go Knights go! I am a Vegas girl, but what's really cool is that Tampa is also in on the East Coast. Wouldn't it be awesome if Tampa went in and so did Vegas? Ugh. It would be even cooler if I got to attend a game. Looks like right next door is Disney's All-Star Music, which is temporarily closed. All-Star Music and All-Star Sports, they don't have an opening date yet, but of course when they do open, we will be back to explore. Now these locker rooms over here are actually the restrooms and also the guest laundry room. Just taking a quick peek inside of the laundry room, perfect. You got your washers, your dryers, and there's even a vending machine here for soap and a nice clean area to fold your laundry. There are just shy of 2,000 hotel rooms here at the Movies Resort. It's also located in the Animal Kingdom area, very close to Blizzard Beach. And they do have standard rooms. They're very small. I do believe the smallest of all of Disney property, but it's also gonna be the most affordable of all of Disney property. And even though you get a lot of theming out here on the outside of the resort, I was pleasantly surprised to see the inside is pretty subtle. We backtrack to the Fantasia area, and this is also where the main pool is located. And there he is, there is Mickey Mouse. Now, if you have kids, you might want to request this area, but if you are here as just a pair of adults, you might want to request any of the other areas. There are activities like movies under the stars. There are always poolside activities and dance parties at all of the resorts, pool games, things like that. There are no slides though, and no hot tubs at this resort, but they do have a splash pad. And this area also has another laundry room. This soldier's face is super 
super sketch. It looks like he did something wrong and he's trying really hard for no one else to find out. Over here by the pool, they also have a pool bar, Silver Screen Spirits. They have adult drinks, so there is a frozen strawberry margarita, pinion colava, not colada, colava. They have a froze, also some drinks on the rocks, like margarita on the rocks, bourbon breeze, a mojito, poolside iced tea, yum. And then there's also, let's see, beers and sangrias, wines, and non-alcoholic specialties. Lemonade, strawberry smoothie, lava smoothie, and an adult whip smoothie. Okay, I might have to make a quick stop here. So of course you have the regular Dole Whip and then you have the Dole Floats, but this is an actual smoothie. So kind of like a Dole Float, but blended. This is so perfect right now. It's 90 degrees outside, but the feels like temperature is 99 degrees. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited that I got this. I haven't even tried it yet. I know I said that maybe we'll stop and get some food, but I couldn't resist this. We're, we're going with the Dole Whip instead because when in doubt, Dole Whip. Ooh, that hits the spot. Oh, that's good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is it. This is it. <laughs> if I'm completely honest, I think it's slightly watered down because they do put some ice in here to blend it up. That way it make it a little bit more of a slushy type texture. I think the Dole Float is still my favorite, but this is still perfect for right now. Look at Daisy flirting with Donald. <laughs> They're such a cute couple. It looks a little off. I feel like the sorcerer hat is a bit more like firm and straight. This is looking kind of frumpy. You know what? It's kind of looking like the sorting hat from Harry Potter. Okay, what the heck is this? Bro. Bro. Oh my God. Imagine having a really long day at the parks and coming back to your hotel room to take a nap and then you open your window and you see this face? Now I'm a lot more refreshed and I love how the pool area isn't just blasting like kid Disney music. Right now I hear Tom Sawyer in the background. Today's Tom Sawyer means mean pride. Do -do 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 do Okay, can you tell I am hyped up? And now that we are all sugared out, it is time to do the rest of the tour. And right next to the Fantasia area is the love bug area you know what's kind of funny is right here is the fantasia area and this is probably the loudest area just because of the pool and the music but right back here in the love bug area it's probably the most quiet area that i've been in so far and there's herbie number 53 in the winner's circle oh okay so this sign is stating that this was the actual car that was used in the magic kingdom parades from 1978 all the way to 1990 that it's really cool so we've got full-size Herbie, regular-size Herbie, we've got gigantic front Herbie, and we also have gigantic back Herbie. I absolutely love exploring resorts. If you've been following me for a while, you know that back in Las Vegas, where I started my channel, that's a lot of what I did. I really wanted to share all the different amazing, unique resorts out there, and I wanted to do the same here in Florida. And we've done kind of a few, we've done a handful of them, but everything closed very quickly after moving to Florida. I will link all the ones that we've done below. We have done a lot of the value resorts like Art of Animation, Pop Century. We did explore Coronado Springs. Uh, I got a whole bunch more on my list. We'll definitely be back as the resorts are starting to open and more things in the resorts are starting to open as well. Since I already cannot show you guys the room because I'm not staying here, I want to show you guys everything else that I possibly can. So I held off, but with things like the All Store Resorts reopening and a lot more along the way, we're back. Now the final area that we have yet to explore is the Toy Story area. We also have ping pong tables out here. I see the paddles, I don't see the ball. You might have to go ask a cast member for the ball. Probably something that gets lost a lot. Look at this, this is so cool. We've got the Toy Story area. The bucket of soldiers is the stairwell. Oh, and we have the green toy soldiers on top of the buildings. And look, there's RC Racer. Oh my God, you can sit inside of it and get a picture with it. Oh, this is hilarious. Oh my God, okay. I've got to do this real quick. I wonder if that means there's a lot of riffraff in this area since we've got the guards up. I mean, look, there's even a sniper. Ooh, cool. We're about to enter Andy's room. It says Andy's room. 
keep out except Molly. Ooh, oh my gosh, that is the biggest Buzz Lightyear I've ever seen in my life. Holy cow, check out the Space Ranger. Bo Peep, I don't see any of her sheep. And there's Rex too, but look behind him. There's my favorite deputy. <laughs> there's Woody. Like a giant chessboard. I don't think these things move around though. No, no, it's just for looks. Look, the window looking out. Woody blocks. Oh my gosh, this is so fun. <laughs> this area is so cute. Dang though, look at him. On the way over to the Toy Story area from the Fantasia area, I did see that they did have a little playground for the kiddos. There is a jogging trail, just like all of the other resorts here at Walt Disney World. But keep in mind, there is no gym at any of the value resorts. I seriously have to come back to get photos with Eddie. We usually go to the parks to get like Instagram photos and all that, but the hotels seem to be where it's at. There's so many cool hidden gems and not to mention hidden Mickeys. One of these days we'll have to come stay at a couple of the Disney resorts. I definitely have a whole bunch of them on my bucket list. And one of these days in the near future, we'll have to do the same in Vegas. Just left Andy's room and we're about to head on out. This was a really fun hotel. We explored all of the areas here. The only area that we didn't really go into was like the backside, like basically the parking lots. But otherwise we've done the whole thing and hopefully you guys got a good view, have a good idea for your stay if you're coming out here. Definitely we'll link all the other videos that I've done so far in the links below. Until next time guys, thanks so much for joining me. I had a lot of fun. I absolutely love exploring resorts. Said it a couple times already, so you know that. Until next time guys, stay safe out there and I love you. Peace.